So hopefully you can pick this up on YouTube and um, it is noise down this side of the metahuman look. So if I remove the key light and then put it back, we've got this noise. Now let me open up my project settings first so you can see what I'm working with. Let's go to rendering and scroll down. So I'm using a screen space beta. I don't think it makes a difference if you use Lumen and then we can use screen space as well for uh, the reflection method. And then I'm using hardware ray trace, uh, hardware ray tracing where available. It's pretty much um, the default settings that come with the meta human lighting project. And uh, so this is what we have. I'm using shadow maps, um, support hardware, ray tracing, path tracing, all that. So I'll just let you have a look at those. Okay. And so with these settings, I'm getting this noise on my meta human. And I'm sure it's something everybody has encountered before. Now, we can do things like if we select our metahuman and maybe the fuzz and we search for visibility, we can disable the fuzz and sometimes that might improve things. But that's not ideal, is it? So the first thing we need to do is establish where this noise is coming from. And so... I only have this key light pointing at the metahumans. We have got a light coming from above. Let's switch on this key light here to see the noise. And then what I want to do is search for samples with, with the light selected. And we have samples per pixel. And if I increase this to, say, 8, the noise disappears. Uh, let's try a lower value, 2. There is still noise there. Three, it improves. Four, it really improves. Five, six, eight. Uh, sorry, seven. <laughs> I can't count. Eight. And then if you're feeling really brave, you can simply go to 16 and it completely disappears. Obviously, by default, it's one. And I would assume this is a performance-related thing. But if, like me... You're creating a cinematic and performance is not really an issue and you have the graphics card to do it. I'm using an RTX 4080 and it is pretty good. Um, so if I set this to 8, there we go. The noise is gone. Now I'm wondering if we turn that one off and we turn on this key light. See, this key light doesn't seem to have it. And this key light is set to uh, 2. Um, in the project by default. So if I just bump that up to four, just to make sure. And again, this is going to be quite performance heavy, but look at the difference. And if you're a game developer, I do not suggest doing this or experimenting and see how it affects performance. But for everybody else, there we go. I think that's it for today. As I said, I'm currently working on a new plugin which will be released on fab it's been approved it's ready to go i'm just trying to get the tutorial done for it um i'm really struggling i've done it like three or four times now and uh um i keep messing up it's nothing to do with the plugin i just keep messing up the 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 tutorial right um that's it i hope you found this useful if you did please remember to like subscribe share because it really does help push the channel forward thank you